Hello, good morning to you. It is Monday the 9th, and today is when the new uh, guidelines are due to start. However, there is an important news update, a breaking news, that obviously over overnight in the UK, it's obviously daytime in Thailand this morning, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister, Anutin, has declared that he has cancelled the criteria for the certificates before entering. So all of that stuff that they said that was going to happen is now delayed, not, not going to happen, cancelled, basically. They have effective immediately. They have cancelled everything that's required. However, there are issues because this has not been transmitted down to the airlines and there are people who've cancelled their their journeys they have uh, been uh, turned up at the airport and been refused entry because they can't prove that they have had the required uh, number um, even people that have had the required numbers they can't prove it because they weren't aware of, of this new situation um, so it's a whole thing but the the question that's being asked is who is going to compensate people for this? Because people have lost their flights. And uh, a lot of people uh, have said on, on the Twitter, which we can have a look at in a moment, this is uh, Richard Barrow, who is uh, in on the idea of um, spreading news in Thailand, has said that a lot of people in Phuket, a lot of companies, a lot of travel uh, companies have caused a stink and this is why they've done a U-turn. Um, I don't know if it was in the uh, Royal Gazette. If it was, and if it ever got into the uh, Royal Gazette, then obviously this will uh, have to reflect a cancellation. I suspect it was an idea that they, they, they did, and um, circumstances have proven to get a U-turn before anything official was made, even though the airlines have um, jumped on this pretty much. Let's have a look at the tweet. So this is uh, Richard Barrow. Uh, he has um, posted a photo of Anutin, who's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Public Health. Um, and this has been cancelled effective immediately. It's all very well, Mr. Anutin, saying that the requirement for vaccine certificates is dropped immediately. But in the real world, foreign tourists are still being refused boarding. And CAAT still hasn't informed airlines. And when they do, it takes time to circulate. This is uh, today's flights. Uh, this is uh, tourists arriving from Hong Kong and mainland China. There are an estimated three and a half thousand passengers landing today in the airport alone. So this is uh, the worry that they had and also the reason why they were doing this. Uh, Richard Burrow apparently wasn't able to attend the press conference, but he would have asked what they're going to do about this because people who have lost money, uh, they would have lost. And um, it's done immense damage to the tourist industry. Oh, by the way, the guy there is, they make um, a big statement about Mr. Anutin being the only guy not wearing a mask in the photo. However, masks are not required. They are not legally required. So making a big thing about that, well, there you go. What can you say? So that's the important update news. Hope it was useful. And of course, We'll get back to you when things are updated. And that's it from me. Have a good day.